Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a great night tonight. Tonight, I wanna to take a look at the Explore feature that you have in Google Docs, Google Slides, and in Google Sheets here. It's a very handy feature to use to make some great looking presentations very quickly, very simply, uh, great looking documents to get some extra research again, very quickly and easily. Uh, one note I just wanna make is that I'm using my free Gmail account, uh, my Google account, and it is that feature is listed in that one, but when I switch over to my Google Google Apps account currently, it's not there, but I'm sure it's gonna come very, uh, very shortly. So if you have some problems finding it, that could be the case. Anyways, let's get started at looking at this Explore feature. So I just quickly put together a Google Slides here about uh, dogs. Uh, it's only three, three slides long, as you can see, uh, but I just wanna use this Explore feature to see, show you how quickly you can alter it and make, uh, make changes to it. So you're gonna find Explore in a couple different places. Um, I tend to use it just by clicking down at the bottom here, right-hand corner, you can see there's Explore here, but if you go up to Tools, you also have it here. And remember, it still might say Research if you're not in, uh, if it's not listed in your account uh, yet. Uh, but uh, so I'll go ahead and click on this and you get this uh, pane down the right hand side. And I have some just some text inserted in here and I like how quickly, now it gives me uh, different examples which I can click and it will change it up here as I click through. Um, so very quickly, if you have some text, it will change it around and make some suggestions that you might want to try this. I'm just going to click on to my uh, next slide here. I'm just going to, I'll end it right here for now. Uh, I'm going to go to the image one here. And when I click on the image one, what I like about this is uh, probably this, uh, is the, my favorite feature with Google Slides is just how quickly it can take. If you put your good images in, it's how quickly uh, I can just take a slide and give you so many ideas how to place your image. So if I just click on a few, uh, like this or like this, how it blackens out, but you can still see the uh, dogs in the background. It gives you a place to write your text. It quickly, it, it can put around, uh, make it into a picture frame on it. And so there's so many different ways that it can uh, change it up to make a great looking presentation. And you can just kind of scroll down the side here. So I'll just click on this one once more uh, to go through. You can see again, uh, it snaps everything in very clean. Uh, and gives you some uh, great examples here. So uh, definitely check this out in your Google uh, in your Google Slides. I'm going to switch over here to uh, Google uh, my Google Docs right now. I have a document open, a crime scene uh, a crime scene thing that I had from one of my classes when I was teaching it uh, from I think probably grade six. Uh, but uh, so I'm just going to go to my Explorer, and you'll find it in the same place. I'll just click down at the bottom right now on this one here and explore. Uh, you see what happens is it kind of goes through the document and kind of finds out what it's about and everything. And then I can go see that there's images right away uh, in it that I could, uh, could that I could search and insert or I could hit more in it. I don't know if these are uh, how the copyright uh, it doesn't list them separately based on uh, if you're allowed to use them, but that would be something um, you might want to look into a little bit more if you're putting images in um, your documents and your presentations here. But you can see the different search that comes up here. Uh, another thing is, so if I just take, uh, let's say if I just take this handwriting analysis here, I'll just copy paste this over from here and I'll do a quick search. And this works the same in your Google Slides. I could have shown you it in there, but I'll just do a quick search for handwriting analysis. And you can see it searches the web. I like this because now you don't even have to leave um, your, um, it, you don't even have to leave your, uh, the window that you're working in your documents and you can search right in here. You have your images right in here. It will even search your drive. So if I click on drive, you can see that it's searching it and it found my drive. I have a different document here that had um, handwriting analysis written in it and it found it. So if I needed it or any images I already saved, I could quickly find them in there. Uh, the one thing is that you'll notice under, so you have tools, there's no more, uh, there's no more research there. So it does change um, how the different citations and different things uh, are put in. So if I uh, go back in here and uh, I'll just put an image in here, you can see at the bottom, well, that was probably a poor place to uh, put uh, the image, but this right here, you can't change. Uh, it just put the URL where it came from. So you're, you don't have that citation, how you could change it before a footnote on this one anymore. I'm not sure if they're gonna update, uh, uh, update that one or not. So this is, again, I think it's a great feature. There's some things I'm kind of curious about what's gonna happen uh, with uh, the research capabilities that it was there and some of the citation things, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. 
So I'm just going to move over to my uh, Google Sheets right now. I believe I have a document open here. Okay, so I have this uh, very simple document just about uh, books read and everything. I'm just going to show you on a couple different documents. Uh, so if I, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this area uh, before I hit my explore here. And it quickly, uh, quickly sums things up for me. It gives me some information uh, very quickly from the graphing. If you haven't checked this out before, I can insert these graphs inside, uh, inside this or I can edit them. But what I want to show you again is the questions. So uh, these are this is a handy feature, I think, because it also gives you, it will show you the formula after you ask the question. So if I wanted to know, I'll just type in average uh, books. You can see it popped up there, books read, because it got the, uh, the head and I'll hit enter. And you can see average books read is 16. Uh, but I can quickly, and I can see the formula that they did. They did just did the quickly, quickly did the average sum of it. But I can also add more to it. So if I said exclude, uh, as I start typing, you can see it found Jamie. And then again, I'm just hitting enter. And now my it lowered because you can see I had 24 there. And there's a new average there. And then if I check out the formula, you can see uh, the formula right here. So it'd be a great way to actually learn the formulas too. Uh, to to ask the questions and check the formula uh, out uh, out after uh, you can use it definitely in more complex ones. Not that this is a comp, uh, complicated one, but it would uh, if I was going through and just uh, said uh, total amount. I can see there's a, a goal scored. So if I said uh, uh, total goals, whoops, I should spell things right. Goals uh, scored, and I'll hit enter. Whoops, and I should write that right here total goals scored. Okay, there we go at 2,379. Again, I can use the exclude function, exclude, um, we'll say 19, I'll start typing 1934. And I like that I don't have to type the whole thing in here, uh, 1934, and I'll hit uh, enter, and you can see it dropped them out. So again, uh, if I could take a look at the formula, they have the, the formula that would have to be used to get this thing. So I think it's these uh, functions of Explore, a uh, great way through your Google Docs, Google Slides, uh, Google Sheets to speed some research up or to find information very quickly uh, to be able to present it or create that document. So I hope you like these tips about using uh, this feature, Explore, in these ones. If you have, please give it a thumbs up or share it with a few people. And remember, I do these weekly tech tips. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.